I went to this pool today here at the Wynn. They got a guy, I don't know if you've seen this, they got a guy walking around the pool with a falcon. <laughs> and every once in a while, he just lets it go. <laughs> My name is Curtis, I'm the Executive Director of Food and Beverage and Pool Operations. And when I joined the team, we had an obvious issue of birds here on property. Damages on equipment, on pool decks with bird droppings. Birds attacking guests and or taking their food items. So it creates a whole, whole hot mess. <laughs> I knew of a abatement program that existed on property many years ago, and I reached out to see if we could find a way to bring some type of birds of prey to uh, our property. Might have to lean down to grab him. What we are doing here is falconry based, and falconry is the art of hunting wild game in its natural habitat using a trained bird of prey. It's been around for five to 9,000 years. It's ancient from cave drawings to shards of pottery. Falconry based bird abatement is the use of trained raptors to deter nuisance birds. We're not hunting the pigeons or the grackles. We're just here to create a presence. So we do flight exercises across the pool with the hawks. It looks a little bit different depending on the bird. So whether they're perched up in a tree or flying back and forth or sitting on my glove or soaring, we're establishing this area as a hawk's territory. Really and truly their job is to fly and soar around the pool. The program is to deter any unwanted species and or birds that we don't want here on property. This kind of nuisance bird control is really, really great because it's sustainable, it's eco-friendly, it's non-lethal. And so what we do here is just play off of their natural instincts and that just discourages the other birds from wanting to nest here. They're very hardwired to fear predatory birds. It works beautifully. So first thing in the morning, he usually likes to sit for a little bit, but he should be. He's gonna go back up. There he goes. So the sparrows in the tree try to stay above him just because if the smaller birds have the height advantage, then the, then the hawk isn't a concern. The way that a hawk hunts, if it's above, like it has to be above whatever they're hunting. They're not gonna go up to catch something, but. We're not hunting here anyway. And when they see me walking around or they see my hawk perched in a tree or flying across the pool or sitting on the glove, then they think about going elsewhere. All right, here he comes. Look that little bug. This process of building a relationship with a bird of prey, that is something that I get to engage with every day. It's all I dreamed about as a child. I was saying regularly growing up that like before, before my time on earth is up, I will hold a bird. And now I'm flying birds every day. It, it seems like something that would become mundane over time, but the, it's, it's just as magical every time the bird returns to the glove. So I, <laughs> uh, that passion just never left. Anytime you free fly your bird, you run the risk of it not coming back, right? And that's where the, the relationship building becomes really important. You have to know your bird well enough to know that like if a, if a plane flies over, they're not going to get spooked and like take off down the strip. It is trust-based and routine-based, you know, as long as they view you as a, like an integral part of their lovely day-to-day -day life, they're gonna stick around. Birds of prey are different from dogs and cats and horses in that they don't really have the emotional complexity that we see in those animals. They don't, I love my birds very dearly, but they don't love me. And I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm over it. We're, we've built this relationship that's mutually beneficial. When I can go home and they'll fall asleep on the glove because they're that comfortable, there's a trust bond there that for me, feels just as profound as love, you know, coming from a wild creature like that. It is really cool how this nature-based issue can only be resolved with a nature-based solution. It's really cool and I'm really glad that I get to be a part of that.